All right, today we're taking a look at the Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Another little add-on to the billion little mini netbooks that are out there right now. This one actually was really nice. When I first got it, I was uh, I was actually really impressed by the way it looks. Uh, you know, it's glossy front and uh, it's actually really nice, really slim. One of the lighter ones too. It's only 2.2 pounds and I actually got to use it for a day and it was pretty useful. Like I wanted to show somebody a video on YouTube actually. Uh, relating to politics and I, I walked over to him and I just kind of showed it to him. It was really cool, really easy. Uh, it's very powerful for having uh, only a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom in there. Uh, so it's actually very, very fast. It's running on a very light Linux operating system called the Olympus Lite uh, OS. Uh, and it's very, very cool. I'll show you a little bit more about the operating system later, but uh, this is gonna be an awesome little new contender to the netbook market. 20 bucks extra if you wanna get the XP version and it's available in just about every color. There's a white one, a blue one, a black one, a pink one, and a brown one. So you have just about every color, uh, you know, for everyone that could, you know, everything you could desire, every color you want on there. Uh, it is an 8.9 inch monitor, so it's bigger. It's comparable to the, the 901 from Asus. It'll do 1024 by 600 at great resolution. It looks really good. It, you know, I, I dimmed it down now for the show and for the cameras, but you can crank up the uh, brightness pretty high. The keyboard itself is an 89% QWERTY keyboard, so it's uh, not too small, not too big, uh, but it's perfect because it's actually probably a little better than the Asus for typing. It's not huge, it's not one of those 95 or 97 percent keyboards and some of the other ones, but you know they did that on purpose to keep it small and slim, keep the, uh, the form factor small. Now this has the N270, which is the 1.6 Intel Atom. Awesome processor, very quick for being so small. It's 45 nm, it's very efficient. The battery on this thing is pretty good. They have an optional six cell battery, which will double the battery life you know, versus the one that comes in here, but even though it's in here is really, really good. Now, uh, talking about hardware besides the processor, of course you do have the Atom Northbridge chipset from Intel on here. You get 512 megabytes of DDR2 RAM. Uh, also on here is eight gigabytes of solid state storage. Uh, so you do have a solid state drive in there, up to eight gigabytes. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll show it to you real quick now before we do the walk around, but right here is a slot, right? And right over here is another slot. So you might ask, what exactly is the point of having two slots? One's a media card reader, the other one's an expansion card slot. And you can literally just go ahead and put uh, any type of SD card in there and you expand your hard drive. And then it doesn't just read it as another drive letter, it actually adds it to your hard drive. It's sort of like if you were doing uh, like JBOD on a desktop, just a bunch of disks. It, it kind of just adds it all into one. And I'll show you in the operating system in a little bit what happens when I stick this 32 gigabyte SDHC card in there. Very simple, easy way to upgrade your storage. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of pictures or a lot of photos, this gives you an extra 32 gigabytes. That's, you know, that's a lot of memory, especially on these things. You gotta love how far compact flash has come recently over time. Uh, so let's uh, keep going on. You also have a 10100 ethernet built in, so you can plug in if you need to. Uh, but of course it is more of a Wi-Fi device. It does have a BNG Wi-Fi 802.11 for connectivity. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you what else too. What really impresses me on this one more than anything is gonna be the finish and the operating system. The Linux on here is actually really good. I didn't get to try the XP version, so I don't know how, it, how it's gonna perform, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I have a general idea. It's gonna be very similar to some of the other ones that have uh, Atom processor, uh, processors and Linux operating systems. Um, so let me go ahead and give you the walk around and then I'll show you the operating system after that. Take a look, starting over here uh, on this side. This is where you plug in your power. Very nice, you have a VGA connector to you know output to a bigger monitor if need be. You have your 10100 ethernet, a USB 2.0, and then this is the SD expansion slot. So this is where if you wanna add memory, uh, you know, for your extra storage, this is where it's gonna go. You can do SD and SDHC, you know, no problem at all. If you look at it, it's very nice, very glossy, really nice all around. I was very uh, surprised with the build quality of this as well as how pretty it looked. It's just definitely a, a really pretty one. Uh, moving on over to this side. Starting from all the way over here, you have a Kensington lock uh, to lock it up in case uh, it's gonna be in a public area, a lot of people are gonna use it. This is where your multi-card reader is. So this is where you put everything else, XD and uh, MMC and SD cards, SDHC, they all go in here. This is where you can look at your pictures if you're on vacation or upload photos to clear out your card for your camera in case you need to take more pictures. You got two USB 2.0 ports right here and then moving right along the line, you get your input and output jacks for headset and microphones. Let me show you something else. See over here, it says that we have about eight gigabytes of space. Now, this is a 32 gigabyte SDHC card. So watch that little number there when I stick it into the expansion slot. 
just give it a second and watch that number automatically refresh itself as soon as I hit the refresh. Actually, look, it did it by itself. Now we have 36 gigabytes and it's not like it's a separate drive. It just added it onto what we already had. So that's a very easy and cool and affordable way to up the capacity of this little netbook. Really cool. All right, so let's go for a quick, uh, let me give you a tour of the operating system. That's where it's interesting. You're, you know, you're getting Linux, you're not getting Windows, so you probably have never seen this before. Again, it's the Olympus Lite operating system, uh, but it's really cool. It comes with all these cool apps. Uh, you know, you have Firefox, you have an IM client that lets you do AIM and Google Talk and uh, MSN and Yahoo, all of that. Uh, you get an RSS reader that's really good. Uh, you have the ability to do Skype with the integrated webcam. You can definitely go ahead and do Skype phone calls or use your instant messaging clients for that. Uh, zoom in here, let me see if I can show I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy mouse, uh, which even though it's a, a regular old mouse, it does work on the Linux, no problem. Uh, so starting from over here, you can see you have connect, work, fun, and files. So there's all your cool stuff. So if you go into connect, there's all your menus, your RSS reader, Wikipedia, Google Maps, your messenger, which lets you do, like I said, pretty much all the clients. Work is where your suite of open office is. So contacts, calendars, spreadsheets, it's all gonna be there, very cool. Uh, fun is also very cool, it has a recorder for your webcam, it has a paint program, games of all types. If you, let's go into the game section. I always like games, look at that, you got Tetris and Puck and all these games I've never really heard of, but I'm sure are very, very fun to play. And then finally in the last section, you have all your files where all your media is, your movies, your folders, all that great stuff. And you can pretty much uh, bring anything up there. You can watch movies on a plane. You can do poetry, whatever you wanna do. You know, it's, it's up to you where you wanna take this thing and what you wanna do with it. In the park, in your backyard, sitting on the can, it's, you know, it's fully, fully versatile and function for you to do whatever you want with this. So, uh, awesome, awesome little device here from Acer. It's very cool, it's very sleek, it's very nice. I like it a lot. And if you want one, well, you know where to get it. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me. I will see you guys next time. For more information on the Acer Aspire 1 netbook, go to compusa.com and type in A180-8001 into the search box. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.